Okay, now I begin. Everybody on these gasifiers seem to take that same shape, round. Uh, they use a barrel or a pipe or a tube or a water heater, etc. I thought I'd have to try something different and look around and see what's 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 been done through through time. So I happen to find this shape. <laughs> I think we're all familiar with it. Um, so I've decided to look around my house and I happen to have all these little <laughs> bombshell things I picked up at a, oh, I just seem to pick up so I've come up with the idea of <laughs> cutting the top off and getting that shape pretty close to the same thing there it, it, here's here's the, the big guy and, and and here's the little one I'm gonna take a attempt at anyway <laughs> thought I put a little humor here thanks <laughs> well here I am in part two first to start with this is my canister for the um, oh God, I can't even think of it. The, <clears throat> where the burn's going to be done in the gasifier. This is the chamber for it. Um, this this will be the main gasifier pipe. There's my canister to ca catch the ash. A little bit of chain. This is the bottom plate for the um, gasifier. This is the, uh, um, what do we call it? Doggone it, it's cyclone for capturing the water. This is what I have plans for it. The piping for it, and this will be copper tubing and my cooler that I picked up as well for, for cooling it once I straighten it out. Anyway, that's the parts I've rounded up so far. That's it. Okay, another progress report. <laughs> um, done all my patchwork, connected the tubes, my cyclone's getting close to being ready, got the drain for it and the inlet and the outlet is done and getting ready for the other part and I still have my inspection cover off before I weld it up and seal up because I got internal stuff to do. Anyway, that's oh, that's my fire tube too. Um, that's it so far. Well here <clears throat> I thought I'd do my uh, cyclone <laughs> um, well, exploring how I did my cyclone, I did a uh, spiral for it. Uh, there's my tank. Um, there's the reservoir. Um, I'm going in a cir circular motion, um, clockwise. The other one too, same thing, clockwise. And then as it comes down the throat, it'll go clockwise, and that's it. I thought I'd coat it with paint too to keep it from the, the rust factor down. Well, now I'm getting into the burner portion, or where the chips are, where the wood is. Um, as you can see here, I've put my igniter on, and, and I've also added another, if I can hold the camera still, I've also added, added a, an extra tube in here to retain the heat as it sits in the tray. Plus I put a small swirl in it too with a flat stock. I, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but you can see right down there where the three parts are. They're tilted to an angle so the swirl can get started. Anyway, that's uh, where I'm at now. <laughs> so at least you can see what some of the inners look like. Um, laying it down. Sun, I'm not sure if it does any good or not. <laughs> but that'll guys give you an idea of what I'm trying out. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Well, here it is all assembled, getting ready to, to put in the burner, the tube, the feeding tube, but here's what I've achieved so far. <laughs> um, you can see here where I have the, the smoke chamber up above that's going to basically rotate in a circle, go through the tube, into the cyclone, and then from the cyclone I can drain off the water, boy you can't see it that well, drain off the water at the bottom. Then my exit tube um, goes on up, over, around, over, and on out. <laughs> Seems like a very simple process to do, but uh, that's what I've gotten so far. Um, anyway, that's it. Okay, I added one last thing on here too, is the fins at the very top when it goes into the exit port. Um, you can see it's almost like a fan blade, but at least I can get something rotating here possibly to keep the heat concentrated in the center tube. Anyway, that's it. Okay, gotten down to the final assembly now. I'm ready to weld it all up. Here's that. There's the, there's the tray. 
still got to do my rattler at the bottom, but there's my burner, my intake or my lighter tube, and <laughs> the top, and you know the rest of the stuff. Anyway, that's that's the uh, almost final assembly before I put the cover plate on. That's it. Well, <clears throat> here's my uh, finished product. <laughs> um, the stand's made. Um, the light tube is made. Just here. Uh, my cyclone's done with a drain the whole bit, overflow pipe. I got my shaker in here too. I doubt if you can see it, but I can. I have my my shaker, which is this piece here. Um, removable plate down below, and um, it's probably close to being ready to fire up. Anyway, that's it for this one. Well, this will hopefully be my simplified version of it. Um, here's the, the burner, my uh, cyclone's on the side with a can underneath. I got a cooler going up, a small, very velocity, very slow velocity fan. And you really can't see the flame, but you can see the vapor on it. But anyway, this is the simplified version that I've made. It takes about three, no, four volts of electricity to run the fan. Um, my chips are almost down to the bottom of the tube you know, all the way down to the bottom the temperature of everything now is the lowest temperature I've gotten is 270 degrees let's see 272, 62, 40 and then in the cyclone it's about 126 in the tube about 120 80 there and about 50 Roughly 50 there, but burns well, runs the motor, very simple. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> wish I was there. Wait, 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 it, it's, it's being taped right now, so I'm doing my nighttime tape <laughs> so everybody can see the blue flame. Very little flow, airflow in it. The fan, you can barely hear on it. You can hardly even hear it on. And uh, anyway, that's, that's it. <laughs> Okay, well here's my my uh, running motor. And of course, it's noisy; you can't hear anything that's going on, but uh, everything seems to be going well. Um, the, the heater box is about 310 degrees. I'm about 130 on the, uh, the anyway, going up the tubes. I'm about 60 degrees at the top, and as you can as you can see, I still have a water build up going on. That's my conclusion. I got some more, more bugs to iron out of it, but uh, there you can see it runs. Um, I've probably used about an inch of chip so far, and it's been running for about an hour. Um, but there's, there's there's my chiller tower. There's the cyclone um, drain. You probably see the water bubbling up. I'm not sure on that. There goes the motor. <laughs> no, still going good. Anyway, that's it.